quite off topic but that happened last month i broke my camera but surprisingly it still works hey everyone how are you all doing it's already the beginning of may i'll soon be transplanting the vegetable seedlings outdoors before that i would like to give you a tour of my grow light setup and also show you the seedlings that are growing underneath it i'll also give you an update of the patio garden in this video I'm planning to do a garden update or a garden tour video beginning of every month starting from May till September or October depending on what is happening on my garden so I really hope you enjoy it. So yeah, welcome to May Garden Updates. Let us first go to the basement where my grow light setup is. This grow light setup is in my basement. Since I was running out of windowsill space, this setup has been really helpful for me. This helps to keep my indoor space really clean and tidy and also let my indoor plants enjoy some sunlight from the windowsill. If you have been following me for a while, this setup might look familiar to you. These are the same grow lights I used to grow my indoor plants in my previous apartment. Since we have moved to this apartment and that this apartment has more number of windows, I think I can manage growing indoor plants without grow lights. So the grow light setup comes in handy for growing some vegetable seedlings and I think they have also been loving this setup ever since they've been moved here so let us take a quick look at what is growing here so this is the grow light setup it has got four shelves actually five shelves but four I'm using it for growing the saplings so let us start from the top for that I have to climb on top of the chair let me do that now all right so what do we have here these are all some brassicas sown in march and some cabbage broccoli kohlrabis here and also cauliflower they have been transplanted in april so on to the next shelf so here on the next shelf I have some petunias and this is the tomato shelf. So there are different kinds of tomatoes here. The bush tomatoes, the yellow tomatoes, the cocktail tomatoes. So if you want to see what tomato varieties I'm growing, please watch my March sowing video. There I've mentioned in detail what varieties I'm sowing this year. And two out of each variety is transplanted. The rest of the saplings have been distributed among my friends. So on to the next rack. Now I can climb down from the chair. So behind I have the chilies, the red peppers, chili jalapeno, some Indian varieties of chilies. This one was sown in February, that's why it is bigger. And this one in March, but this is not as big. So yeah, those are the chilies and here I have zucchinis. These were sown in April, the last week of April and they are already this big. I have to chop one down because I'm only planning to grow one zucchini on my space. So I'll be just chopping one seedling. The cucumbers did not sprout. I had shared it on my Instagram story. I think the seeds have gone pretty bad because those were two years old. And I have bought some new seeds. I just have to put them in the soil. And this is a watermelon seedling. One of it has sprouted. And here I have an opogene. This one was also sown in March. That's why it is still small. These are the holy basils. It needs some thinning and transplanting. I'm yet to do that. This is a curry leaf grown from seed. The seeds were sown in February and kept indoors. I'll be sowing a few more curry leaf seeds and keeping them indoors, not outdoors, because I want them to thrive also the winters. These are the beans, the yard long beans, three yard long beans. All of them have sprouted. Next, let's move on to the last rack. Everything here you see is from the April sowing, that's why all the seedlings look very small. On this tray, I have the brassica varieties from the April sowing. So if you remember, on the top shelf, I have some brassicas from the March sowing. 
and here are some from the April sowing so that there will be one month gap between the harvests hopefully and yes here I also have some lettuce growing and some onions on this side all the four are bitter gods they have not sprouted only one has sprouted the other ones need a bit more time with this then what do we have on the last row I had sown some pole beans none of them have sprouted because I think like cucumbers the seeds are pretty old and that's why the germination rate is equal to zero I bought a few new seeds I just need to sow them and here I have some flower seeds snapdragons uh, what are these these are two okras they have sprouted here I have a Pattison Zucchini or Pattison Pumpkin. I don't know to which category they belong. This is a new variety I'm trying. And here are three pots of purple beans out of which only one has sprouted. Or no, I see one more is just sprouting. So, so that is it. Maybe I'll give you one last look of the grow light setup. It's not anything fancy, it's just a normal shelf with some grow lights underneath. I have also tied some of the grow lights with a, with a rope because this was falling down, the sticky, as you can see here, it was not sticking onto the wooden shelf. So I just tied it so that they do not fall on the plants. Since I need it only for two more weeks in May, I thought this temporary setup would be enough maybe for next year. I try to get a permanent solution for that yeah so that's it now let us move to the patio garden this was my patio garden in March I had shown it in my moving video and now it looks like this a lot more fuller right let us check out what is growing here let me start from this side these are the lettuce and spinach from last winter. They survived the winter in the greenhouse and after moving to my new apartment, I did not cover them at all. But now look at them, they are still producing. I had harvested one batch of spinach and this is their second batch. They are slowly flowering. I'm pinching the flowers off so that I can harvest more greens out of it. Maybe I can harvest them till mid of May. Here I have some calendula sown in the end of April, some nasturtiums, they have not yet sprouted. These are the garlic I planted in fall. I recently fertilized it and they are doing pretty well. They'll soon be ready for a harvest. In this planter I had sown a lot of pea seeds but unfortunately only one of them has sprouted. The germination rate is quite low like cucumbers and pole beans. I think I have to get a new seed packet for peas. Moving on, this is a long planter which was already there in the apartment and I decided to plant some strawberries in it. These strawberries were overwintering in my greenhouse on my balcony. Now they have grown back and started to produce their first flower which will soon turn into strawberries. Can't wait for it. These are the purple rock cress or obrieta. I'm still trying to familiarize the name of the flowers that are growing here. And on the other side of the planter, some more strawberries are growing and they have also started to flower. Here in these containers, I have some round carrots sown in March and some in April. Some spinach again sown in March and April. These containers are close to the flower patch which is filled with buds. And as you can see, the leaves of the spinach are being eaten by them. So I need to protect it. Lettuce and a cold rabi. This one is from last winter and the growth of it has been pretty slow so I don't know whether to keep it anymore or discard it what do you think I should do 
let me know in the comments below let us now move on to the flower patch if you have watched my moving video you might remember how empty this patch was in march now it is filled with a lot of flowers i have a tulip a lot of peony buds have emerged the three gigantic roses are filled with buds i'm too excited to see them in full bloom maybe the next month garden tour you can also see it in full bloom these are the bleeding hearts they were so beautiful in april now with a lot of sun around i think they are going to be spent soon these are the petunias from my balcony if you remember i had just pruned them before winter just to see if they can survive the winters and they did this is a spent daffodil a lot of forget me nots pansies these have been blooming since february and still going strong here are the geraniums again from my balcony the growth is pretty slow for this one a lot of mint growing here and there moving on to one of my favorites from the spring blooms on my flower patch the alliums look how pretty they look lot more buds on them are yet to bloom so i'm waiting for it here i have some chrysanthemums again overwintered from my balcony garden these spent tulips there were some pretty good colors i'll try to insert some clips from the april blooms the roses have grown back this is the same rose which i grew on my balcony and there are buds appearing on it now to what i have been up to on my garden what was keeping me busy building three beds for the vegetables i'll do a video soon on how i created these beds and on the balcony raised beds i have radishes which are ready to be harvested and on the other bed i have three beetroot spinach growing on these two beds i'm planning to grow tomatoes so by the mid of may all of these will be cleared either harvested or if they are not ready to be harvested they will be transplanted elsewhere things are still a mess a lot of work to be done definitely this patio garden demands a lot of time and energy from me than my old balcony garden but yeah this is a snapshot of the garden in may stay tuned for more thank you so much for watching bye and take care